Okay guys, in this problem, the information below has been given for a horizontal curve in a roadway. We have the point of intersection or the PI station at 15 plus 00, zero station. We have the degree of curve at 9 degrees, the deflection angle at 11 degrees and 30 minutes, and the station of the point of tangent or the PT is what we are looking to find. So Let's spend some time defining a few things here. So this station number can also be written out as 1500 feet. And that's because stations are given in increments of 100 on this side and the remaining numbers on the other side. Uh, the degree of curve is fine the way it is for this. The deflection angle, we should convert to a decimal degree, not a minute. So the easiest way to do this is to divide this number by 60, which would give you 11.5 degrees. And I think now we're ready to solve the problem. So we're being asked to find PT. And now PT, if we look in our reference manual, there is um, a drawing of all the basic curve elements. And just in case you don't have the reference manual handy, we can draw out some basic parts of it real fast. So try to get this close to correct. We're going to have the point of the curve here at PC. And we're going to have the point of tangent, which is what we want to find, over here. And then the point of intersection is up here at PI. And there's a lot more involved. So this is going to be the arc length L, which is the curve itself. and if we were to continue out at this angle, this would be our theta, which is our deflection angle, or delta, sorry. Um, the degree of curve here, we can assign as value D, and we also need the radius of the circular curve which is this value here and this length is going to be t and in some cases if it's a symmetrical curve it can be possible that this is t um, i'm not a hundred percent sure that it's the same and i'll talk about this a little more at the end of the problem too so let's get started. If we're looking for PT, something the manual doesn't tell you, but the drawing will imply, and this is something I guess it would be good to memorize if I were you, would be that PT equals PC plus L. So we've got our point of curve and our arc length and that will give us the station value of the point of tangent so that's that's well and good right but it doesn't tell us we don't know what pc is right now or how to calculate that right so we also don't know what l is so if we start writing this out we can start trying to go after some other terms here as well so l is going to be given actually in the manual so not in manual. And if it is, let me know in the comments. Um, but I didn't see it on the pages that I was referencing here. And these are the ones I assume you'd be using on the test. So L is going to be equal to radius of circular curve times delta times pi over 180. And that's annoying for us too, because we do not know what the radius is. 
However, the manual gives us that as well. And the radius is going to be equal to the value of 5729.6 over your degree of curve, degree of curve, which we have here. So we've got that. And finally, we can look back now. So we have everything we need to look at to solve for L. To solve for PC, that is going to be equal to PI, the point of intersection, minus the tangent. So again, we can see here that PI minus this length of tangent will give you PC. Now that's important to remember too because I also do not see this explicitly called out in the manual. So it'll be good to try to understand that and have this part understood. You may notice as well that we're not given T here for the tangent. We don't know how to calculate that. That is also given in the manual. Um, so T is going to be equal to R tan delta over 2. And R we have from up here, which is our radius of circular curve. Okay, so next what we just have to do is solve these in order, and then we can solve the problem. So I would start by solving for the radius, then for the tangent, then we could solve for PC, then we could solve, we could solve for L or the PC. Um, both of those could be step three or four, and then finally step five to tie it all back together. So if we were to do this, we could get started and Let's just copy it over here. So R is going to be equal to 5729.6 feet over nine degrees. That's going to give us about 643.62. Step two, our tangent is going to be plugging in this value. So 643.62 times the tan of 11.5, which is our deflection angle in the correct units up here, over 2. That's going to give us a value close to 64.8. Step 3 is going to be solving for the PC. So that's simply going to be now PI plus or minus T in this case. So PC equals 1500 feet minus 64.8 feet. And that'll give us just about 1435.2, which just so you know, could also be written as 1400 plus 35.20 if this were as a station. And step four will be solving for our L. So L is going to be equal to 643.62 times 11.5 times pi over 180. And that should give you a value close to 129.18. And then finally, we can solve for PT. PT is going to be, like we mentioned, PC plus L. So 
35.2 plus 60, oh, sorry, no, um, plus 129.18. important to make sure you're grabbing the right terms when you go to calculate your final well each of your steps and this will give us just about 1564 oops sorry looking for the eraser about 1564.5 three eight and the closest number we have here is the first one so going through these steps that would be what you would need to do to solve this problem um, there's another way that you might be able to do this that would save you a little bit of time but it's not going to be correct and so I don't recommend it. Um, in theory, it may be possible. So let's be clear about that here. Um, if this is a perfectly symmetrical circular curve or horizontal curve, you might be able to skip a few steps and say that P i plus t will give you pt but that's not usually correct so our our caveats to this would be symmetrical curve and two that you don't have two answers that are almost the same like these two are here if so i wouldn't be comfortable guessing because there's really no guarantee that one is going to be correct versus the other So yeah, in general, I would recommend doing this by following all five steps. Um, just working your way through with the equations that the manual gives you and trying to hammer number three and number five here into your head since they're not explicitly included in the manual. It'll be better to remember that PI minus T can get you PC and that PC plus L will get you to PT. And that is what it takes to solve this problem.